Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. I just realized we forever have the Wiggles playing in the background of almost every single one of our videos yeah. on Instagram. So today's video, I realized I did not film a formal intro. I just went right into filming the kids' lunches. So we're gonna do a quick intro. This video is gonna be showing you guys what the kids had for lunch this week. And the reason why I love doing these videos is because I always get ideas from watching other people sharing what they're packing their kids or Pinterest or wherever it may be. And sometimes we get in this rut of packing the same thing over and over and over again. And we need some new ideas. So I'm hoping that this video can be that for you guys. And I just want to say this because I feel like I have to put a disclaimer out there every single time. But my kids, let's just say it, they're kids. They don't eat fruits, vegetables, and the healthiest foods. I'm a firm believer in packing, of course, nutritious stuff. At the same time, packing stuff that I know that they're going to eat because I'd rather them eat than packing stuff that I know that they won't eat and then being hungry during the school day. Do you like the lunches that mommy and daddy pack? You do? Are they yummy? You're good? Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Fruit yes, salad. Daddy. Yummy, yummy. Anyways, I don't want to make this intro really long. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I hope that it gives you ideas. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Scarlett, thumbs up. And thank you guys so much for watching. Let's roll the footage of all the meal ideas or food ideas, lunch ideas. You guys know what I mean. And for lunch today, they are all having the same thing except for Nolan requested peanut butter instead of cream cheese on his bagel. So they're all having, oh, well, they also have different yogurts too. So this one is Scarlet's, Harlow's, Scarlet's. So they're all getting cheddar, veggie straws, some berries. So we got blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, mm. and this is vanilla coconut yogurt some Oreos for a treat, and then I just have a blueberry bagel with cream cheese. So for Aria, she has the strawberry coconut yogurt instead. Nolan also has the coconut, or the strawberry coconut yogurt. And then Harlow has the vanilla coconut yogurt. So that is everything that they're having for lunch. You guys always ask me, do I just put this in their lunchbox, or how do I keep it cool? Do I put little ice packs in there? So we do put ice packs in their lunch boxes to keep their um, lunch cold because these aren't insulated. At least I don't think they are. They could be. I don't think they are. Um, but we just put this in here just in case. They're thin so they can still fit with their lunch box in their like lunch box. <laughs> time in the washer. Yeah, that one got a little bit messed up. But they do stay sealed, so you guys can see the top right here. Um, so for the yogurt, sometimes it'll leak if you have the wrong container or the wrong insert with the wrong case if that makes sense because they make different inserts so you got to make sure that all of it lines up so you guys can see at the top it kind of seals everything in all right so in addition to this what my kids are having for lunch and lunch ideas. I might not be able to do this with one hand. So I'll only be able to show you guys Aria, Nolan, and Harlow's because as soon as Scarlett got home from school, before I could tell Frank that I was gonna film how much she ate, he went ahead and washed it. But I did ask him how much she ate and he said everything. So let's see how much Aria ate. Pretty good, pretty good. Almost all of her fruit it's and veggie straws. I talk to my friends during lunch. Well, hey, no, that's still really good. You did really good. Uh, oh, Nolan, good. or no, this is Harlow's. She did really good as well. I see everybody so far has loved the Oreos. And then Nolan did really good too. He ate all of his veggie straws and bagel. He's not a huge fruit person. I like to still Ooh. put it in there. Uh, but he did eat a it's little amazing. bit of his yogurt, even though he told me this morning that he did not want the strawberry yogurt. So. I'm gonna remember that. I try to do something new and it always backfires. But overall, everybody did really good with their lunch today. All right guys, so we have a mixed match of lunches today. All right, so Aria has a field trip today, so they have to bring a bagged lunch. So I let her pack her lunch last night. I packed my lunch last night for um, our field trip today and my teacher said that everything in here has to be thrown away um, when you're done eating it. So I couldn't really pack that much stuff. So in this, I have a, um, we don't have to show it. We'll just talk about it. A rice cake. With uh, peanut butter? Rice cake with peanut butter and 
Cinnamon? Uh, cinnamon and honey. And, honey <laughs> and strawberries, since we don't have any bananas, sadly. I was going to use bananas, but then I That would have that been bad. good, but I don't know how that would be if you made it last night and then till your field trip. They'd probably be brown. Yeah, got a right? juice? Mm -hmm. I got this for my little treat. You know what would be good in there is a cheese stick. Do you want to put a cheese stick in there? I don't like cheese sticks. No cheese sticks? Okay. And then I got applesauce. Okay. And I got cheese crackers. And this is just extra if I'm really hungry. I'm still really hungry. Okay. I see what you're talking about because you, you don't want to pack stuff that needs to be refrigerated. Yeah. So um, you could put an apple in there too if you want to have an apple. Oh, yeah, okay. So I packed Harlow's lunch, but Nolan wanted to pack his own lunch this morning. So since they're starting to be a little bit more independent, I'm okay with that because they're able to do more things for themselves and um, with a little bit of guidance too. But Nolan wanted a Uncrustable, so he put that in there fruit snacks. I think he used a yogurt squeezy and mm -hmm. squeezed it into there. I think he used two because... It's okay. That's it's fine. fine. And then uh, some Cheez-Its. Okay. This is Nolan's perfect ideal lunch. <laughs> That's why sometimes I like to make it too, just to add a little bit more nutrients in there. But, you know, I'm always a firm believer if they will eat it, I would rather them eat it than not eat anything. So. Yes, that is healthy. Yes. Kinda, I just wish sometimes you would have a little bit more fruit, but that is okay. As long as you eat, the whole thing, as long as you eat it, food. he'll be fine. Well, I mean, if you get full, you get full, but these are so hard to close. This is why I love the yum boxes. I'll, I'll finish letting you zip that up. Spoon. Don't forget. Yep, go get your napkin and their spoon. So for Harlow, she is having her own Lunchable or make her own Lunchable yeah. today. So we have some pepperoni over here. I just get these little cupcake liners on Amazon. I'll be sure to link those down below as well as the yum boxes. And then I just cut up some Colby Jack cheese, put some Ritz crackers in here. We have some gummies and then she requested chocolate muffins. So I put those back there and then I just cut up some watermelon for her. I haven't packed Scarlett's lunch yet. I'll, pa I'll pack that a little bit before she goes to school, but since we're already kind of on a time crunch, I just went ahead and did Harlow's. So I just realized that I won't be packing Scarlett's lunch today because she has pizza day at preschool. Every Wednesday, they get pizza for all the kids, and I totally forgot about that. But if you guys are wondering, I would have probably packed her the same thing that I did Harlow for her lunch today. This was Nolan's lunch. He ate about everything. Aria had her field trip, so obviously I can't show you guys her lunch. And then Harlow said she didn't really eat much of her lunch, but as soon as we got home, she said she wanted to snack on it and try to eat some more of her lunch. So I was like, okay. So we put it right here and she's just been picking at it. So once she's done, I'll put it away, but you guys can see she, she didn't eat that. Muffins. Yeah, she didn't really eat that much except for those. She, so really ate of the she didn't even eat all of her gummies. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Some days they eat everything and then some days they don't hardly touch it. Today's one of those days for Harlow. Mm -hmm. film the kids lunches this morning you guys saw that I made it but we were in a rush I had to hurry and make them but I'll go ahead and show you guys Scarlett since I packed them all the same thing the only difference is that I didn't give Nolan and Aria cheese sticks they're not a huge fan of it I think in place of that they got two sandwiches yes. I can't even remember now so over here we have some vanilla Greek yogurt with sprinkles some apple slices I just put a little bit of orange juice in there it's a little hack for you guys just so it doesn't turn brown um, just be careful not to add too much like I did I might have to drain some of that because it could leak and then we have a Ham and Colby Jack cheese slider on a Hawaiian sweet roll some pretzels Oreo and Cheese stick. All right, let's see how much Scarlett ate. So she ate most of her yogurt It looks like none of her apples 
most of her pretzels, almost all of her Oreos, half of her sandwich, and then all of her string cheese. So I just picked up the kids. This was Aria's lunch. She ate almost everything but a little bit of her sandwich. This was Nolan's. He ate everything but his apples, and then Harlow ate everything is she didn't touch her pretzels and it looks like she did not touch her apples as well so i'm seeing a trend here that we were not a fan of the apples today but that's okay and then i also wanted to mention that every day after lunch i will take some disinfecting wipes and i will go through all of the kids lunch boxes and i'll wipe them all down all right guys so the older three have field day today. I won't be able to show you guys their lunch because it's a bag lunch and it was pretty much just a whole bunch of random stuff. So I think I packed them some PB&Js, some pirate booties, a cheese stick, juice, applesauce, and I feel like there was something else, but I can't remember. But I'm still gonna go ahead and show you guys Scarlett's lunch. So she is having some strawberries and blackberries some pirate booties as well. And then I have some cheddar cheese over here and some Fruit Loops and some ham. I actually had a couple more pieces in here, but she already got in here and started eating it. And then four blueberry little bite muffins. All right guys, it's gonna be the last clip for the kids' lunches. So Scarlett, she ate, eh, she did good, like about half and half. She didn't like the cheese, she loves the ham. Uh, I'm surprised she didn't eat her Fruit Loops, but it's okay. They always surprise me every single time I open up their lunches. Um, about half of her muffins, all of her pirate booties, and none of her fruit, which I'm also confused because she loves strawberries, and then she said she wanted those this morning. But yeah, that is what she ate from her lunch today.